Hey, what's happening everyone? Joey here with TubeSlicer.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a YouTube thumbnail in four easy steps using the YouTube Slicer. Alright, so let's go ahead and begin. Step one, you're going to go ahead and choose the background. Now, you have two choices with this. You can either choose just one background color like you see here or use one of our template packets that we provided with the YouTube Slicer. Now, if you're gonna choose one solid color, just go ahead and leave it as is. Just go, go right up here and click on the color wheel, and then just go ahead and pick the color of your choice. You could just drag in this little circle around, drag this little bar up and down like so, and then just pick the color of your choice. Now, if you wanna use one of the background templates that we provided, just go ahead and go to the folder that you downloaded and choose one of the templates there. We have several there. We have some gradients, we have some pre-made templates, starburst templates, target templates, and we'll be adding more as we create them. Right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the starburst, and I'm gonna pick one of my favorite ones here, which is the corner starburst in black. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it and then just drag it right here and drop it like so. All right, and then right there, again, you could go ahead and go ahead and click on this deselect. Go ahead and pick uh, the color wheel and just go ahead and choose the color that you want. You could do this now or you can do it later. So a lot of times I actually do it at uh, towards the end when I got the whole design uh, complete. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and choose that color right there. Go ahead and click on deselect. All right, so now you're ready for the second step. All right, the second step is to add some text. Now, when you first log into your YouTube slicer, there's already a text layer there. So just go ahead and highlight it and then just drag it up to the very top to push that text all the way to the front, okay? Now you're just gonna go ahead and drag it wherever you'd like to put it at. Now, a real quick tip, guys. I like to go ahead and pre-write my text or whatever message that I want to put on my thumbnails and put it in like a notepad or something or even write it down on a piece of paper like you see right here. I'm creating one and the headline for this uh, for this video is four steps to creating a thumbnail. Okay, so that's how I want it. That's how I want it to look like. So right there, I'm going to need three lines of text. Okay, so it makes it real easy because then I could just go ahead and, and highlight it, copy it, and then just go ahead and paste it right up here and it's real simple and easy, you see? So I'm gonna go ahead and drag it right there. I don't want this in italic, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make it straight. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add the other two uh, lines of text. So I'm gonna click on deselect here, click on, on add text. I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. Deselect, I'm just gonna go ahead and add the next layer since I know I'm gonna need two more. All right, and I'm just gonna put it right there. Now I'm gonna highlight the second one, copy and paste my text, put it right up here and then do the same thing with the last layer. So now that I'm done adding all the text, it's time to go ahead and resize them and place them in a section where it's gonna look really, really good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the thumbnail since it's highlighted already. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it down here and I'm gonna go ahead and left click and hold one of the little corners and just go ahead and drag it to size, okay? Now this doesn't have to be perfect right now. You could do all the final editing uh, at the end when you've got everything going and everything added. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just do it like so. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, creating a, and I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger. And then the last one, which is four steps two. And I really want that to really pop. So I'm gonna make that a little bit bigger, okay? So that's pretty much it there. Once you're done with that, it's time for step three, which is adding an image. Now, this is optional, so if you don't have an image of yourself or, or any image that you wanna showcase, you could actually leave it like this and proceed to step four. But I'm gonna go ahead and add an image. So I'm gonna add an image of myself here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop it like so. And then once it's there, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab it and place it right in this little corner right here, okay? And then that's pretty much it. I'm pretty much done here. Now I could go ahead and tweak this a little bit, maybe move the text uh, a little bit, resize it, or maybe add some gradients. So why don't we go ahead and tweak this a little baby, just a little bit and add some gradients, okay? So let's go to the templates uh, folder that, that uh, you downloaded. Go ahead and go to the gradient. I'm going to add a nice little, let's go ahead and add a thick border 
Let's go ahead and do that. You see how that looks right there? Ah, that's a little bit too dark. So let's go ahead and delete that baby. Go back here and go ahead and choose the thin uh, border. And I really like that one, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that down here right by the, uh, the starburst, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some more gradients here. I'm gonna add a little light in the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick on the medium. Go ahead and drag it here. And then go ahead and highlight the layer. Bring it back down here like so and boom then i'm gonna go ahead and just drag that little light right behind me right here like so and i think that looks really good so and that's pretty much it guys that's how easy it is to create a youtube thumbnail so it's really up to your imagination and uh, you can really make this uh look really really good and uh and just go all out with it okay so once you're done with this you're done tweaking you're done adding images you're done adding backgrounds the colors the text now it's time for step four which is to download and then upload to your youtube uh, video of your choice so it's real simple just go ahead and click on the download button this little menu will pop up here and then just go ahead and save it to a folder of your choice. Make sure to change the name of the image so you'll know which image it is and what video it belongs to. So this one, I'm just gonna name it four steps. Go ahead and save it. Then just go to your YouTube back office, pick a video of your choice that you want to use that image on. Right here, right up under the default templates that YouTube creates for you, there's gonna be a little tab that says custom thumbnail. Just go ahead and click on that and then find the image that you just got through creating. Go ahead and upload it and then click on save changes. And then in just a few, YouTube will start showcasing your brand spanking new custom YouTube thumbnail. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Now it's just time for you to go out there and create some of your own custom youtube thumbnails i can't wait to see them so make sure you post a link to that video with that youtube thumbnail in the comments below so i could go ahead and check them out all right and if you have any questions whatsoever about this video or your youtube slicer go ahead and post them in the comments below with that said this is joey kasimi and i'll see you on the next